CIA spy at Stevens podcast revealed the power of manipulation and motivation. Andrew Bustamante talked about manipulation and motivation in intelligence operations and business. He explained that there are four main reasons why people do things, reward, ideology, coercion, and ego. Ideology, which is what someone believes in, is the most powerful motivator. Ego, wanting to feel important, comes next, followed by reward and coercion. The flip side, if you think of a coin, one side of that coin is manipulation. And that is a, that coin has value. Manipulation has value. But the other side of the same coin is motivation. If you can get people to do what they want to do, then you have motivated them. And that is worth just as much as getting people to do what you want them to do, which is manipulating them. When you understand all the different options of the currency that you're working with, you can work with it more effectively. So people are generally, despite age, race, creed, or religion, people have four basic motivations. And we call those four basic motivations. RICE, R-I-C-E, stands for reward, ideology, coercion, and ego. Reward is anything that you want. Money, free vacations, pat on the back, uh, women, alcohol. If that's something that you want and me giving it to you gives you what you want, then that's a reward. People do lots of crazy things for rewards. And these rewards change over time? And by, based on person, Okay. right? The second primary motivator is ideology. Ideology is the things that you believe in. People do crazy things for the things they believe in, whether it's their religion, whether it's their country, whether it's family, whether it's what they believe is morally correct, right? So if you can assign, if you can speak to somebody through the lens of their ideology, you can get them to do incredible things. C is coercion. Coercion is all the negative things, guilt, shame, blackmail, anything that you do to force someone to take certain action by leaning into the negative element of motivation, which is also known as manipulation, that falls under the C or coercion. And then E, ego, is everything that has to do with how the person views themselves. So oftentimes ego gets oversimplified into thinking that it's just people who have a big ego, right? Somebody like Donald Trump who has a big ego, or you name the famous actor who has a big ego. Ego is also people who don't have big egos. Mother Teresa had an ego. She wanted to sacrifice for other people. She wanted other people to see her sacrificing for other people. That is also ego. So with these four core motivations, you have a rubric, a process to understand why other people do what they do. If you understand why other people do what they do, all you have to do is connect what they care about with what you want them to do. And you just increase the probability of them doing what you want them to do. Tell us what you think about this in the comments. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.